Welcome to your dialysis nurse, where we talk about everything dialysis and kidney related. Hi, I'm Nicole. Um, and so today I'm going to walk you through the setup of the Tableau machine. Now this is a at home hemodialysis machine and um, it's fairly new to the market. And what I love about it, it walks you through each step. So this is the inside component of the dialysis machine. To the left is where you put your dialyzer and it literally will walk you through each step um, right here. It, that's where you get your water um, sample from so that you can check it per clinic policy, um, per tablet policy. Um, back here is where you have your baths, your potassium bath, your bicarb bath, as well as your saline. That's me again. <laughs> so this is a demo. So Tommy is not a real person. Don't worry, guys. So let's get started. So if you have this machine at home and you're a patient on this at home, this is the first thing you'll see. You want to make sure that it has your name, your first and last name, your medical ID, your estimated target weight, potassium bath, that's your birthday, your treatment type, which is HD hemodialysis, your calcium bath, your rinse back volume, your treatment duration, your sodium sets, setting, your saline bolus, blood flow rate and everything else that we'll get into at another time so let's hit yes because everything was correct does the acid concentration okay is that the correct bath so you want to hit yes once again this is demo does the acid concentration have um the correct calcium bath 2.2 this says 2.5 so once again demonstration we want to hit yes are both concentration jugs one gallon? This is where you would find the one gallon mark on the jug right underneath that B. So yes, and the same for the other jug. Is the bicarb concentrate expired? So let me work my phone back here so you guys can see exactly what an expiration date is. And there you go, right there. So. It is not expired, demonstration. And now let's test the sound. Now, if you do hear a sound, then you wanna hit yes and you wanna continue. If you didn't, you want to click I didn't hear anything. Okay, get the dialysate ready. So let's set the acid jug behind the touch screen and unscrew the top. See how it literally walks you through everything that it's doing. It's hard to get this wrong because there's a display on a screen for each step. Remove the red cap by pulling it straight up, okay? And you would pull that up and then you would insert the flat end of a straw into the red cap. And that also comes with the machine and you would put that into the jug. There's a silver film across the top of it that you'd have to push it through. Okay, so it's just showing you that again. So let's continue. Let's get the dialysate ready. Set the bicarb jug behind and unscrew the cap. Remove the blue cap by pulling it straight up. It's the same routine. Um, as you did for the first jug and it's showing you that as well insert the flat end of a straw into the blue cup in the, into the blue cap sorry and push the straw into the bicarb jug there you go it's already done for you Okay, so let's hit that we've completed that. Next thing we can do is hit continue. So now let's place the cartridge, open the front door and place the cartridge on the orange pegs. Now I'm the one holding the phone, so I'm not going to set that up for you, but I am gonna let you see the display because it's super easy. You just pull it out the package, pull the blood lines down from behind it so that it can fit in its secure place. And you know it fits because you will hear the snapping sound from those green bars. So now the bag that the cartridge came in, you're going to hang that on the side of the machine because when the machine starts to prime the blood lines, and that means that it's going to get the air out the blood lines so we don't give the patient air, it's going to dump 
all the um, solution or saline into that bag. Keeps everything sterile and you lose what came with, came with the um, machine at the time. So let's tighten the red and blue blood lines and T-connector. Okay, now let's connect the saline bag. Close the yellow clamp on the saline line. Okay, and it's showing you there exactly what to do. And that's the saline right there. So let's close the orange clamp on the infusion line. See how easy that is? Pull the saline line off the cartridge and uncap the saline line and spike the saline bag. Hang the saline bag on top. All right, and now let's connect the saline bag. Grab the blue dialyzer blood line and remove the cap. And it shows you right there. No way you can get this wrong. And then twist the blue dialyzer blood line on the bottom of your dialyzer. Repeat both steps above to connect the red dialyzer blood line to the top of the dialyzer. If we've completed all those steps, then the next thing that's left to do is hit continue. So now let's remove the blue dialysate connector and attach it to the bottom of the dialyzer. And that's where the blue connectors are in the tableau machine. And that's where the dialyzer would sit. Now repeat the above step to attach the red dialysate connector to the top of the dialyzer. Clip in the dialyzer. So mainly each dial all dialyzers can pretty much fit into this machine. And now you want to hit continue. And now we want to prime Tableau. In order to prime it, you have to open the yellow clamp on the saline line. Begin prime. So while that's priming, you want to take your weight. Once again, this is a demo spoon. Um, and you wanna get the arrows, put the arrows up and down to your um, target weight. You weigh before and after each treatment and you check your temperature. So now we're gonna take a sitting blood pressure and then we're gonna take a standing blood pressure and it would usually go right there on top of the machine. And you wanna make sure you take both a sitting and standing cause you wanna compare it at the end of treatment. So now we hit continue and treatment duration, HD, fluid removal, dialysate temp, um, smart flow. So if you have a question on what something is, just click that icon right there. This Tableau system offers dialysate flow rates 100 to 300 ml per minute. The system also features smart flow and will run a 300 ml for as long as possible and then switch over to 100 ml so that you would work off of one jug. And the same explanation for dialysate flow rate. And so let's hit continue. So let's take our water sample. Here it is, guys. Collect a chlorine slash chloramine water sample using the spout of, on the front of the tableau. Test the sample per your site's policies and take action indicated by the results. Tap the result below. So you never want to hook up to the machine if it failed, but you want to tell the machine if the water sample did fail. So we're going to stop here for the setup of the tableau machine. So this is just part one and we'll get into part two on another video. Um, I just wanted you guys to like see how simple it is, the basics of it, and it's a benefit, an added, an added benefit to everyone who wants to do dialysis at home compared to what's really out there in the market right now. The market is saturated with just one machine um, and there's pros and cons to each machine, which we'll talk about in another video. But for this particular, the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to what's on the market now and what the majority of patients are actually using. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in to Your Dialysis Nurse. And I'm Nicole, and I will see you in the next video.